Environmental Products and Services Limited, EPAS, is a Northern Ireland environmental engineering business with subsidiaries in the USA, China, Australia, Sweden and branch offices in the UK, Hong Kong and New Zealand. The directors and staff are committed to the principles of sustainable development and to making a significant and long-term positive impact in the communities in which we work and live, demonstrating our commitment to corporate social responsibility. EPAS operates an integrated management system with respect to all issues affecting quality, the environment and the health and safety of its staff and the staff of our customers. EPAS manufactures a range of products for the plumbing and drainage sector. Genie H2O – Instant Hot Water Heaters FlexiPlum – a range of flexible, corrosion-free plumbing fittings which allow for misalignment and connecting metric to imperial fittings and are easy to fit using stainless steel jubilee clips. Unique components in the range include tun dishes to create an air gap when plumbing ovens, effluent sample points, vortex flow controllers, space-saving running traps and flexible connections from sink wastes to floor drain bosses. Filter Shield, the simple and highly effective filtration means, prevents contaminants such as starch, kitchen debris, coffee grinds and chopped food waste, including vegetable, fish and meat wastes, from causing drainage-related problems. A range of sink filters with universal waste outlets. IP56 single and double gang sockets, designed for indoor and outdoor use areas exposed to dust and splashing water. A range of integrated workstations incorporating caster-mounted kitchen units and accessories. And Grease Shield, a range of 21 certified award-winning products. The company's corporate mission is to deliver cost-effective, sustainable and innovative environmental solutions. Our objective is to exceed customers' expectations worldwide with product quality, performance and value for money. The company commits approximately 10% of sales turnover to R&D and innovation and exports 99% of its production outside Northern Ireland and 77% outside the UK and Northern Ireland to the rest of the world. FOGs Why are FOGs so problematic? Where do they originate from? Prep, cook, wash up. FOGs originate from food preparation, cooking and wash up activities and are an integral part of our lifestyles. Food waste and other non-flushable products being disposed of down the drain add to the problem. The Water Environment Research Foundation found that a majority, 90%, of the FOG deposits in drain blockages contained saturated fats. 85% of FOG deposit samples contained calcium as the primary metal. When they react with calcium deposits, this ultimately results in arterial blockages in drainage systems and in people, which can lead to heart attacks and strokes. So what solutions have people come up with to try and deal with the problem? The passive grease trap was first patented in the late 1800s by Nathaniel Whiting from California, USA. However, grease traps suffer from the dual problem of twin contaminant layers of FOGs and food waste, separated by a layer of oxygen-depleted water, giving rise to anaerobic conditions. The vast majority of passive grease traps are significantly undersized. It is conservatively estimated that more than 55% of the entrained FOGs will simply pass through the grease trap to cause problems downstream. EN1825, the European standard for passive grease traps, recommends that correctly sized passive traps should be pumped at least once monthly and preferably every two weeks. Some 93% of pumped grease trap waste is highly contaminated water characterized by high BOD biological oxygen demand and SS, suspended solid, levels, in addition to FOGs and food waste. Pumping grease traps is a significant costly recurring expense for an inefficient process that does not eliminate problems downstream. Foul odours associated with grease traps are caused by organic matter such as food waste and dairy products being biologically decomposed in water having a temperature range of 30 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius, creating ideal conditions for the rapid growth of indigenous mesophilic bacteria. 
One of the nutrients required by these aerobic bacteria is oxygen. The bacteria rapidly deplete the dissolved oxygen in the water, causing foul-smelling anaerobic conditions, a characteristic of all grease traps, save for grease shield. Dosing systems. Biological degradation of fats is not readily achievable under actual operating conditions found in grease traps and sewers, no matter what snake oil salesmen say. Perhaps consideration should be given to making claims against the indemnity insurance of specifiers and against the product liability insurance of suppliers when these dosing products do not work. Regretfully, the solutions put forward in the last 120 years have proved to be ineffective and costly. Our inheritance is the foul smells associated with grease traps and the recurring problems due to non-performance. Typical problems. Various unsuccessful attempts to solve the problems. There is chronic problem of gutter oil, which refers to recycled oil made from a mixture of kitchen waste, dredged from gutters or inedible animal oil and UCOs. The oil, which contains carcinogenic substances, is dangerous if consumed. It's estimated that up to one in every 10 restaurant meals consumed in China is prepared with gutter oil. There is a range of solutions that are environmentally sustainable, that can reduce operational costs, that can harvest renewable energy and protect food safety and public health. Additionally, we can empower municipal authorities by providing a cloud-based internet management solution to record in every FSE the amount of FOGs being recovered and to identify the illegal siphoning of gutter oil. The award-winning Grease Shield is globally certified in respect of safety-rated performance against a number of international standards and is the world's first eco-grease trap delivering sustainable, cost-effective and functional solutions whilst harvesting a source of renewable energy. In May 2015, Grease Shield products received Green Tag certification to Green Rate Level A, an achievement which is recognised by the Australian Federal Government Agency as being an approved national certification mark and by the Green Building Councils of South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, India, China, Singapore and Malaysia. It's further recognised as an independent third-party eco-label that rates the performance of products against a worst-case business-as-usual BAU base case. The award-winning and globally certified Grease Shield, the best grease trap in the world.